Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Basic Tutorial. Today we're going to spend about an hour and we're going to walk through all the basic features of Pro Kitchen. At the end of this tutorial, you should be able to design your own kitchen using Pro Kitchen design software. So to get started with, when you first open Pro Kitchen, you're going to have the screen in front of us. Now, if you're a new customer starting out, you're going to have to create a new design. After you get going, you can simply open an existing design. But for now, we're going to click OK to create a new design. And the first thing that we need to do here is we need to set our design file path. And so you see right here it says click on folder to the right to specify design name and file location. Now, some computers, you can actually type in and right here the job name and it'll work for you. But most computers, if you try this, you're going to get a message that tells you that you're trying to record in a read-only er media error. So please, if you get a read-only media error, follow the directions that said in red. It said to click on the folder on the right to start a new design, which is this guy right here. So here we're going to click on that folder. And this is going to take you to your documents. So it's going to take you right to your document screen here. Now under documents, I've set up a folder called Pro Kitchen. And in this folder, it has all of my Pro Kitchen designs in it. Now as default, if you set up a, a folder like that, well, you can default into that folder so you don't have to open it each time. When you do open that folder after you've got designs in it, you're going to see a lot of backup designs. You're going to have one backup for every job that you do. Now these backups are there because Pro Kitchen saves automatically every 10 minutes to backup file. So that backup's there in case you can't open your design, something goes wrong, whatever, you can come here to the backups and grab your design from the backup files. And when we scroll over here far enough, and then your Pro Kitchen files are going to show up like this with a nice little blue Pro Kitchen icon. So to get started here, what I'm going to do is I am going to enter my job name. And in this case, we're going to call it demo underscore three. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to click on save. So now I've got my demo three design set up. And if you're in a big hurry to get into creating your design, you're ready to go. Come down here, click OK. You're going to pop over to the, the uh, plan view here, and you're going to be ready to go. We're not quite ready to do that because we want to take a look at all the features. So we'll start here with contract number. If you have a contract with this customer, you can enter the number here. Order number. If you have an order number with this customer, you can enter the number here. Design status. This is the big one right here, design status. You've got all the, uh, the statuses that you can set for your design here. It could be preliminary, estimated, measured, final, reviewed, sold, order placed, and order confirmed. Now this is just solely there for your use to be able to track your designs so that you can know at a glance where that design is in the process. Processed by, if you have a processor, you can put that information here. Note, I'm just going to type a quick little note in here, my note, and this note actually shows up in your customer report. So be careful what you type here, the customer could potentially see it. We're going to come into customer, and you'll notice here that when I try to click in here to edit this, that they're not edit editable fields. I can't say the word. I can't make it work either. So, and the reason for that is Pro Kitchen is set up in a database format. So we need to access that database to add new customers. So we're going to click on Browse, and that does that for us. Now here's some contractors that I have in here. If your contractor is already there or your customer, you just simply click on them and choose Select. If they are not in there and you want to add them, click on New. Here we can come in and do a company name. Um, we're going to call these guys the Kitchen Remodelers. We may not be able to spell it, but that's what we're going to call them. Kitchen Remodelers. And we will call these guys, let's see, um, yeah, we'll just use Bill. 
Bill Anyone. And his email is Bill at whoops, no space at the kitchen remodelers dot com. Hey, I'm lazy, all right. Phone number, put the phone number in here. We're gonna use the old uh the old Hollywood phone number for this. And now our customer is set when we click OK. If we want to go ahead and enter the mailing address, we can click on address. We can type in the address. And we're just going to give them an address of 123 anywhere in any town, USA. Let's see. Let's do any town. Any town, any, meeny, miny, mo, pick one. We'll do any town, Florida. And the zip down there is something like that. Country, United States. And we're simply going to click OK. Comes back here. Now we can do the same thing for our shipment address, or we can click on same as mailing address. Then we have an in invoice address as well down here, so it could be same as mailing or same as shipment. So now all of our addresses are in. Uh, you can fill out the rest of the information there if you'd like. And we're going to click OK. And here we go. Bill anyone. Right here. We're going to select him. And he is now our customer. Dealer. Click on the Dealer tab. Enter your information in here only once. Once you enter your information in here, it will be available for all of your designs. So. This is my information and this is my actual information in case you need to get a hold of me. My address is here. Designer. Again, you can browse. If you've got a designer in here, you can clean, clear it. And you can do same as dealer or same as reviewer. Reviewer is the same way. Same setup here. Construction tab. Now this is where the fun begins. Under our construction tab, this is where we set all of our defaults for Pro Kitchen. My wall thickness, I'm going to set it four and a half inches. My zone width, I'm going to leave my zone width at 30 inches. And we'll look at that a little bit more when we get some walls in our design as to why it's important to leave your zone width um, at 30 inches. Wall height is 96 inches, and I'm going to leave it at that for this design. Wall items alignment. Now I've got top alignment and bottom alignment. Under top alignment I have 84 inches. And what this tells me is that when I place a wall item, in this case a wall cabinet, it's going to place the top of that cabinet at 84 inches. I don't care if that cabinet is 12 inches tall or 48 inches tall. It's going to place it at 84 inches. Now if I choose bottom alignment, Bottom alignment is set at 48. You're probably going to want this set at 54. Now this is going to do the same as top alignment, only it's going to align all the bottoms of your cabinet at 54 inches. This is a great feature if you're doing staggered height cabinets. However, if you use this 54 inches, if you set it here, when you place a range cabinet or a cabinet an over the range or an over the microwave cabinet, not microwave, how about a um, refrigerator? If you place one of those shorter cabinets, it's going to place those at 54 inches, so you'll have to do a little up-down in the design. I'm going to set my top alignment at 84, and I'm going to leave it like that. Now, my additional weight for pallets, if you get your cabinet shipped in on pallet and you need to pay for that additional weight, you can enter the additional weights here. Moldings. We've got an auto molding feature in Pro Kitchen. And to set that up, you can simply come in here and we'll set up our light rail molding. I already have my top molding and my toe kick set the way I want them. So we're going to click on light rail. We're going to choose our cabinet line. Now you won't have all of these cabinets in here that I have. Um, you'll only have the cabinets that you sell. So you don't have to worry about all these other lines interfering with your job. So and now I'm going to come. I've, I picked my line and now I need to pick my molding. And we're just going to do that one for now. And so there's my, my molding set for my light rail, my top, and my toe kick. If I don't want to use all of these items, I can certainly unclick them. And I'm going to leave my light rail unmold, uh, right 
uh huh, light rail molding unclicked here because I don't want light, light rail in our sample design here. So now we're going to go to countertop. Here you can set up all your countertop defaults. Pretty self explanatory. The one I do occasionally get a question over is back overhang. This only applies to islands or items where there's actually necessary to have an overhang on the back. If you've got a wall there, you're not going to get a back overhang. Same thing with the end overhang. If you have a wall in there, you're not going to get that overhang. So you don't need to worry about adjusting it for every design. 3D is our next tab here, and this is where we set our colors for our design. Now these would be global colors for our design elements, not actually our cabinets, but our floors and our ceilings and our countertops. So countertop, click on select and come over here. Now just because it opened up the countertop window here doesn't mean I have to choose one of these. I can scroll down here and if I want to put a paint on my countertop, why not? I sure can. I can put metal on my countertop. I can put any choice in here on my countertop. So I'm going to stay in the countertop file there and I'm just going to pick a granite out here and maybe I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to click OK and there's my granite. Wall covering, same thing. I'm going to choose a paint. And I'm going to go to the blue palette and let's say we just pick something like that. Now say this is close but not quite perfect and you want to adjust just a little bit. You can come in here to the custom palette here you can adjust this guy all over the place. 